Hey, what's up, Facebook? I'm so sorry for being late on tonight. But, baby, I've been making Valentine's Day baskets all day, all day, all day. As you come on, hit share and tag somebody. Hit share and tag somebody. Hit share and tag somebody. I'm excited. Um, just to, you know, kind of talk about some things on tonight. I'm excited for what God is doing on tonight. As you come on, hit share and tag somebody. Hit share and tag somebody. Tag somebody you love. Tag somebody you care about. Tag somebody you want to motivate. That's how you do it, Netta Jones. Come on, tagging, baby. I like you already. Um, As you come on, hit share. Tag somebody. Tag somebody you love. Tag somebody you care about. Tag somebody you want to motivate. Um, God is just up to something, up to something miraculous on tonight. He's up to something miraculous on tonight. Um, I am going to uh, just kind of be, you know, upfront and blunt on tonight about a few things. Listen, thank you, Lynn Parker. Thank you, Smiley Morgan for tagging. Thank you, Sierra Edwards. Come on, come on, Crystal Young. That's how you do it, Queen. Tag five people. I'm asking that you hit share and tag five people on tonight. The Bible says where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. The only way we can come in agreement for God on your behalf, virtually, people of God. How you doing, Quine Hicks? Um, the only way that we can come Thank you, Rakesha Patrick. The only way that we can come on one accord for your behalf on tonight is if you like something I'm saying, you can comment below, you can hit share, you can tag somebody, you can give me some hearts, um, you can give me some um, thumbs up, like buttons on the side, but whatever you do, um, let's just spread something positive. If this is your first time on my page, I'm Evangelist Shakira McFadden. Um, I come to uplift to motivate, to inspire, to encourage. So if this is your first time on my page, dear, you are on a page uh, where you will be uplifted by the time you get off. Thank you, Shanita Bryan, for always tagging. Come on, come on, come on, come on, people of God. You guys know I can't release until I feel like um, everyone is on here that's supposed to be on here on tonight. Baby, I'm looking a mess. This time of year be basket time for me, and I have to build 250 baskets. So, uh, listen, baby, I don't look like what I'm going through because I'm going through it right now. Do you hear me? Uh, the way these baskets wearing and tearing on my back and legs, only Jesus and his angels, baby, can help me with this. Um, hi, how you doing, Shamil? I love you, woman of God. Come on, come on, that's the way you do it. Thank you, Miss Tiffany. Thank you, Rakia Williams. Come on, come on, come on, people of God. Tap in, tap in, tap in. Tap in, Miss Erica Johnson. That's the way to do it. Come on, tap in, people of God. Y'all know I can't get started um, until God released me to bring the word. Um, tonight's topic is, are you helping or hindering? It's time you take the pacifier out. Um, this message, people of God, come on, somebody. Um, this message, people of God, is for uh, people who, let me tell you, uh, who have a giving heart, always want to give, always want to help, um, feel like the more they help people, the more they will be blessed. Um, they feel like um, they are the type of people that will put others before themselves. So when God gave me tonight's message, it blessed me on a whole nother level on tonight. It blessed me on a whole nother level. When God said, are you helping or are you hindering? It's time to take the pacifier out. That hit me in my spirit so deep uh when that thing you know uh, uh resonated in my soul it hit me in my spirit on a whole nother level thank you lateria latrice um for tagging so many people come on come on people of god who are just now coming on please hit share and tag somebody else listen this message on tonight is for the people of god who just feel like, you know what? I don't even feel like myself unless I'm helping people. I don't even feel like myself unless I'm uplifting somebody. I don't even feel like, like myself unless I'm motivating somebody. I don't even feel like myself. If even when, watch this, when I'm going through the darkest moments of my life, if I don't uplift and help somebody else, I don't feel like myself. So tonight's message is, are you helping or are you hindering? It's time to take the pacifier out. Come on, come on. I'm going to give you about three more minutes to be a blessing on tonight. Tag somebody going through. Tag somebody you know. Tag somebody you've seen on your timeline. People of God who need to be blessed on tonight. Tag somebody uh, into this live because you are going to be blessed on a whole nother level 
on tonight when I tell you as I begin to study and worship and, and, and talk to God, um, I begin to just hear from God clearly about some of the things um that I have been going through. Let me first say this. Um, do not think just because I'm an evangelist with a big platform that I don't go through, baby. I get hit the hardest. I get hit in my marriage, I get hit through my children, I get hit in my ministry, I get hit by people close to me. I truly get hit. So although watch this, I don't come on live and always say, pray for me. I'm going through it. Let me tell you something, baby. You're not the only one. Somebody ought to comment below. You're not the only one going through it. You're not the only one going through it on tonight. So, you know, when God gave me this message, I, I, I just felt like it was a necessity, watch this, to come on and bless somebody else with this. I didn't want to keep it for myself. The cash apps are already coming in. Um, These are people who tune into me daily. My phone is vibrating. Thank you for the cash apps, PayPal, Zells, and Chimes. The information is to the bottom. If you are sowing a seed on tonight, please be led by God. If you are sowing a seed on tonight in the memo section, I want you to put, I don't want to hinder them. I don't want to hinder them. Them. When it say, what are you cash apping for? I want you to put, I don't want to hinder them. Are you helping or are you hindering? I mean, are you helping or are you hindering? It's time to take the pacifier out. You, the one that's watching this video, I'm talking to you on tonight as I'm talking and ministering to myself. Yes, you heard me say that right on tonight. Watch this. Sometimes us pastors, preachers, apostles, teachers, bishops, prophets, we can go and preach a word and it'd be a word that we need on our own. Watch this without even telling you. So I want you to just take a moment and type in capital letters. This word is for me. Type in capital letters. This word is for me. I don't care if you the biggest thug in the world, the biggest drug dealer, drug user. I don't care if you're the most successful business owner that's out there, baby. You can have 200 employees under you. When I tell you everybody, watch this, have, come on somebody, been at this point in their life, what I'm talking about. I don't care if you're the top of bishop in the world. You got a church uh, uh, with 5,000 members. Everybody, watch this, people of God, have been through what I'm getting ready to preach on tonight. Whether they want to tell the truth or not, it's up to them. Not everybody revealed their skeletons, and I get it. You understand? But wherever, watch this. This word may hit you at on tonight. Let it resonate. Let it, let it, let it, let it rest in your soul on tonight. Let it rest in your soul on tonight. Tonight's message is, are you helping or are you hindering? It's time to take the pacifier out. Are you helping them or are you hindering them? It's time we begin to get to a place where we say, you know what? It's time to take that pacifier out your mouth. Are you helping or are you hindering? It's time to take the pacifier out. It's so often us people with big hearts, watch this, want to do everything we can to help the people we love. Oh, I just need somebody to comment below. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Just from the first sentence, watch this. Let me scoop back. You know that this message is from you for you just from the first sentence alone. It's so often. Come on, people of God, us people with big hearts. I'm not talking about people with small little hearts. I'm not talking about stingy people, selfish people. Tonight's message is for people. <laughs> excuse me, with big hearts. It's so often us people with big hearts want to do everything we can to help the people we love. Somebody ought to comment below. Could you blame me? Could you blame me? Evangelist, could you blame me? God, could you blame me from wanting to help a person I love? God said though, are you helping or are you hindering? It's time you take the pacifier out. It's so often, watch this, people with big hearts want to love people to life again. That right there is something deep in itself. As people with big hearts want to love people back to life again. You can see the people uh, uh, in their most brokenest moments of their life. You can see people in the downest, most uh, uh, brokenest area 
of their life and you want to do every single thing you can to love them back to life. You ought to comment below. I, I, I done loved them back to life. Everybody done had somebody you done love them back to life. Even when they family didn't want to deal with them. Even then, come on somebody, the church didn't want to deal with them. Cause let's keep it all the way real. People can be a bit much. Even when watch this, uh, 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 the people, they were close to their friends. Uh, the people they put before you, Come on, somebody. I don't know who I'm speaking to on tonight. Watch this. Hallelujah, Jesus. But you still love them back to life. Regardless, because that's the type of heart you got. Oh, I don't know who I'm speaking to on tonight, but you ought to, uh, you ought to take the moment and say, evangelist, this message is for me, baby. Let me tell you something. I almost didn't go live. Like I said, this time of year, I'll be so busy making baskets. I still got about another 200 to do. I'm behind, but I got to stop and come and bring this message for somebody on tonight. Are you helping or are you hindering? It's time to take the pacifier out. Come on. It's so easy watch this uh for people with big hearts come on somebody to tend to love people in spite of their own flaws have you ever loved a person who didn't love they self oh come on come on we about to get real deep on tonight we about to get real deep on tonight baby have you ever loved a person who didn't even love their selves come on that's a whole different type of love Oh, I don't know who I'm speaking to on tonight, but somebody understand where I'm coming from because the seeds are already being sown on tonight. Baby, have you ever had to love a person who didn't even love themselves? Baby, that's a whole nother type of love. It's so often. Come on, somebody. People with big hearts, watch this, try to see the good in everyone and try to help them. Oh, I don't know about you, but I, 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 God done showed me some people faces and I still try to love them. Come on, somebody. Oh, I don't know who I'm speaking to on tonight. Watch this. I tried to love them because I tried to see that little bit of good in them. Somebody ought to comment below. It was the little bit of good for me. It was the little bit of good for me. They could have hurt you, done so much wrong to you year after year, day after day, hour after hour night after night, but it's just that little bit of good you've seen in them before that made you want to help them again and again and again and again. Come on, somebody. I don't know who I'm speaking for on tonight, but are you really helping or are you hindering them? It's time to take the pacifier out. It's time for you to stop babying them. It's time for you to stop rocking them to sleep every night. It's time for you to stop patting them on the back and giving them a bottle. Come on, who I'm speaking to on tonight? Are you helping or are you hindering them? Watch this. It's time to take the pacifier out. Come on, somebody. We'll help. Watch this. Come on. Help the broken. Oh, I don't know who I'm speaking to on tonight. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We'll, we'll, we'll take the time out to help our enemies. Come on, who I'm speaking to on tonight. You ought to comment below. This is for me. This is for me. We'll take our time. Watch this to not only help the broken, but help the broke. Can I just sit right there for a moment on your timeline? We will take the time to not only help the broken, but we'll help the broke. You barely even got it on your own. You got to help them out just two days before the first when all your bills do. Who I'm talking about on tonight? So not only watch this, will you help the broken, but you'll help the broke. Come on, somebody. Have you ever watched this went into your savings account just to be a blessing to somebody else who didn't even deserve it? You ought to comment below. They didn't even deserve it. They didn't, they didn't even deserve it. They wasn't even thankful that you took out a moment to help restore them. They didn't even take the moment. Come on, somebody to thank you for pulling them out of that dry place. Oh, I don't know who I'm speaking to on tonight. Watch this. But people with big hearts seem to see, tend to give and give. 
and give. See, I'm seeing them. When I go to seeing them sad faces, it let me know that God, God is working through somebody right now down deep, deep, deep down in their soul. They needed this message for confirmation, baby. It's okay because tears are just temporary release. Listen, I don't want you to worry about the amount of people that's on here on tonight, baby. Just let it be me, you, and God. Act as if you don't even see the comments, as if you don't see the emojis. Baby, it's just me, you, and God on tonight. Are you helping or are you hindering? It's time to take the, 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 the pacifier out. Come on, somebody. We'll go over and over and over again to help the homeless. Do you know, see when you say homeless, right? Let me just take a moment to break this thing down for you. When you say homeless, people automatically think that you're talking about homeless people that's out there on the corner that you don't know, that's laying there with no socks, you know, cold, rainy, hungry. No. The homeless can be somebody, watch this in your family, who you keep opening your house to. The homeless can be that man, come on somebody, that wasn't looking for love and just was looking for help. Can I keep it real for you? The homeless, Robocosa, Tabashiande, could be the people closest to you, that friend, that family member. Come on somebody. We will stop and take a moment, watch this, to help our children. Oh, I don't know who I'm speaking to, but God is telling me to tell you they big and grown. They big and grown. You ought to put that in capital letters. They big and grown. You about to lay across a hospital bed because you so stressed out over these big grown kids. God is saying they big and grown. Are you helping or are you hindering? It's time to take the pacifier out. We'll go over and beyond to help the person we're in love with. But it's just the giving heart you got. See, people with giving hearts, they want to help a uh, uh, birds, you know, that 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 look at that that seem hungry. They want to help dogs they see slipping uh lipping around with one leg. They help straight cats, they just natural helpers. I'm not upset with you, baby. That's the heart God gave you. You ought to comment below. That's the heart God gave me. But the question is, are you truly helping? Or are you hindering? It's time you take the pacifier out. I thank God for all the seeds coming to my Cash App, PayPal, Zelle, and Chime. People of God, please use my phone number via Cash App. Someone made fake Cash Apps. The information is pinned to the bottom. Uh, uh, the question is, are you helping them? Or are you hindering them? It's time you begin to take the pacifier out. I looked up the definition of help. Let me help you right here for a moment. You the one that's watching this video. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Are you helping them? I looked at the definition of the word help and it said to make easier for someone to do something by offering your services. Sis and bruh, you've been offering your services long enough. I looked up the word help. Let me back that thing back up and it really blessed me. It said to make it easier for someone else. You ain't making it easier for you by helping nobody else. You making it easier for someone else by doing something or offering your services. Whatever your service may be, whether it was to help them put gas in their car, whether it was to open your door and give them something to eat, whether it was you buying them clothes or feeding their kids. Come on, somebody who I'm speaking to on tonight. Are you helping or are you hindering them? Helping that grown child of yours over and over again. Helping that person every time they relapse on drugs over and over again because you love them. Helping that man with a child that's not even yours, man. Who am I speaking to on tonight? You ought to just comment below. I didn't make the baby. I didn't make the baby. I ain't that baby's daddy. I ain't that baby pappy. Ain't that's what they said on the movie. I forgot the name of that movie when they was like, I am the baby pappy. I'm the baby that I forgot which movie that was. But baby, you ought to comment below. I ain't that baby pappy. You ain't the baby daddy. The help you're offering, Rabba Kosa Tabashiande, Rebe Kishiando So Tabashiande, it's because of the good heart you got. But are you helping or are you hindering people of God? Rabba Kosa Tabashiande.
It's time to take the pacifier out. Come on, somebody. You've held that friend that betrayed you over and over again because it's the heart you got. You genuinely love them. Help that family member. Come on, some, uh, uh, somebody with somewhere to stay. Rent free. You watching them collect food stamps. You watching them co uh, collect a disability check or unemployment. But sitting up in your house for free. Come on, somebody. The definition of help. Are you helping them or hindering them? Hindering them? The definition of help is when you make it easier for someone else, not yourself. Yeah, I'm talking to you, sis. I'm talking to you, bro. You make it easier for someone else, watch this, to do something by offering your services. Somebody ought to comment below, I'm about to be out of order, baby. I'm, a, I'm about to be out of order. The way evangelists preaching this message on tonight, baby, my services are no longer available. Oh, you ought to type that thing in capital letters, baby. My services are are no longer available, baby. And it's not due to COVID that I'm shutting down. Come on, somebody. It's because I'm hindering you instead of helping you. You ought to comment below, baby. I ain't closed because of COVID. I ain't closed down because of COVID. I'm closed down because I'm hindering you. While all along, I thought I was helping. Oh, I thank you for all the seeds being sown to my cash app, PayPal, Zelle, and Chime. And the memo session on tonight, I want you to put when you sow that seed, I don't want to hinder them anymore. It, it, it's so hard for you not to be there for people you love. It's hard. It's hard. I need some bold people to just comment below in capital letters. It's hard. It's hard. It's okay to put the crying emojis. It's okay. Because tears are just silent prayers. Tears are just a sign of release. I just told my person that uh, who, who I just got out. That's why I was late coming on my live. Because I was in a one-on-one -on -one counseling session. I just told her, baby, it's okay to cry. Cry. Do whatever you got to do. But you better shake back. Don't let the world get you down, baby. You better shake back. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Somebody ought to comment below. I'm shaking back. I'm shaking back. Baby, you better shake back. Don't let the enemy, come on somebody, knock you off your game. You better shake back. Tonight's message, if you are just now coming on, is are you helping or are you hindering? It's time you take the pacifier out their mouth. I looked up the definition of the word hinder. It said to create difficulties for someone resulting a delay. Oh, I'm going to back that thing up for you. Beep, beep. Be the definition of the word hinder. I don't know who I'm speaking to on tonight. Mighty God. It's to create difficulties. To create difficulties for someone resulting a delay. Why you think you help and sis, you are creating difficulties for them to begin to take care of themselves. Somebody ought to comment below. Hmm. Things to make you go. Hmm. Hmm. You might got to scratch your forehead. Hmm. Scratch your cheek. Hmm. Evangelist got a point. Am I helping or hindering? Those are the things that make you go, hmm. Give you something to talk about. I'm going to ask you that question again. Because watch this. Because of your generous heart. Are you delaying that person? Come on, somebody. And making it difficult for them to get their own place. Because you're allowing them to live rent free, sitting home on the couch all day on social media or getting high or, 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 or playing the PS5 or doing whatever all day while you go to work just to wait for you to get paid to ask you for some of your money. Are you helping them or are you hindering them? I'm just asking a question. Somebody ought to comment below. You right. You right, you right. Put that thing in capital letters. Because I know what I feel on the inside. I know this message was for somebody on tonight. You right. Just put that thing in capital letters. Are you making it difficult? Because remember, the definition of hinder was to create difficulties for someone resulting in a delay. So we learned what help means. And now we got the definition. Come on, somebody. Watch this of a hinder. Are you making it difficult for that person because you keep running to their rescue every time they get locked up? 
Every time they relapse. Come on, somebody. You, you, you making it so difficult for them. They can't find God because you are their God. They know every time they get in a tight situation, you gonna be there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You the one that's watching this video. Oh, I just need somebody to comment below. They can't find God because I am their God. That was my situation. They can't find God because you are their God. You always there every time at their every beck and call. Women, do you know that you can become a man's God? Do you know that he can't even watch this stay home and be faithful to his wife because you open 24 seven like 7-Eleven. Oh, yeah, I know that might have hurt somebody feelings, but let me back that thing up. Beep, beep, beep. He can't stay home and take care of his children. Somebody ought to comment below. She's an evangelist that keep it real. If this is your first time on my live, baby, you done tapped into the right page because you're going to get transparency and you're going to get truth. I'm going to show you the difference from sugar and salt. I'm going to give it to you raw. Watch this without protection. He can't come on. Somebody be a father to his children. Or a husband to his wife. Because every time he turn around, you his coochie God. Excuse my language. Yeah. You his coochie God. Every time he need a little bit of it, you opening it up. Every time he need a little bit of it, you wire them legs up like Lamborghini does. Every time he need a little bit of it. Rabakosatabashi ande. You, you, you sleeping with your phone next to your ear waiting on that booty call. How are you hindering or are you helping? It's time we take the pacifier out. Come on, who I'm speaking to on tonight? Are you making it difficult for that person to get a job because you keep giving them money every time they say they broke? Come on. Instead of you helping them look for a job. Are you helping or are you hindering people of God who I'm speaking to on tonight? I thank you for all the seeds being sown to my cash app, PayPal, Zelle and Chime. The information is pinned to the bottom. If you're sowing via cash app, uh, please use my phone number because there's other fake pages um, out there. And if you're sowing a seed on tonight in the memo section, I want you to just put I don't want to hinder them anymore. Are you helping or are you hindering? It's time we take the pacifier out. Come on, ladies. God said these men can't grow up and be men. Hallelujah, Jesus, because you breastfeeding them. Whoo, that was deep right there. Let me back that thing up. Beep, beep, beep. God said, these men can't be men, ladies, because you're breastfeeding them. You got a two-year-old son and a five-year-old daughter, but you still breastfeeding the person you laying up with every night. That thing blessed me, baby. Could I just have some women on here who don't mind keeping it real and say, evangelist, you talking about me. Oh, I'm looking for some bold people on tonight who don't care who look and watch this on this Facebook on tonight, but can sit there and put in capital letters. Baby, you talking about me. God said they can't grow up to be men because you breastfeeding them. Take your titty out their mouth. Yeah, tonight's live is not PG-13, so if you're oversaved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost and you're wondering why I'm talking the way I'm talking, baby, get off my page. It's too, that's the problem with the church. You want to tickle the people's ears instead of giving it to them blood raw. Get off my page. These men cannot be men, God said, because you're breastfeeding them. Take your titty out their mouth. Let them grow up. Let them be men. First Timothy 5 and 8 says, but if any provide not for his own, men ought to be providers. They ought to be pro protectors. You ought to put in capital letters, protect and provide, protect and provide. Put that thing in capital letters on tonight because a lot of men don't know even what they supposed to be. Watch this. Why? Because they never got a daddy who was a man. They never had men around them to teach them how to be men. So let me help them out on tonight. Men are protectors and providers. Put that thing in capital letters. 
First Timothy five and eight, watch this says, but if any provide not for his own and especially for those in his own house, come on, somebody, he has denied faith and is worse than an a, a infidel. You worse than a sinner. You the worst of the worst. Men are to provide and to protect. But ladies, watch this. They can't do it because you got your titty in their mouth. You breastfeeding. Are you a hindrance or are you helping? It's time you take the pacifier out instead of paying them bills. Come on, somebody. You taking your strong, independent, I don't need a man attitude. They can't provide and help you pay bills because, oh, I don't need a man. I'm strong. I'm independent. I don't need a man, but you letting them lay up in your house for free, man. Somebody ought to comment below where they do that at. Where they do that at? Where they do that at? Where do they do that at? at? So because you strong and independent and don't need a man, you going to let a man lay up in your house for free? Why you working two jobs? You right here working two jobs, uh, got your own business and drive, driving Uber, Lyft, and, and Postmates. You barely at home with your children trying to provide why they hang out. Because you rather get them sick home. So you can know where he at all times because you don't want him with the other woman. Man, can I keep it real for a moment? Somebody ought to comment below. Keep it real. Keep, keep, keep it real. Keep it real. God said these men can't grow up and be men. Because we busy breastfeeding them. You ought to take your titty out their mouth. Yeah, I said it. We all grow. Can I just keep it real with you for a moment? You rather, you rather bust your tail all day long. Before you make him get up and do what it is that he's supposed to be doing. You rather him just stay home. You rather him not live up to the potential he should just because you want somebody to cuddle with at night. Somebody ought to comment below. Cuddling don't pay the bills. Cuddling don't pay the bills. Put that thing in capital letters, baby. Cuddling don't pay the bills. Are you helping or are you hindering? It's time you take the pacifier out. Come on, somebody. How are you breastfeeding a 20 to 60 year old man? How is that possible? How are you breastfeeding a 20 to 60 year old man? Are you helping or are you hindering? It's time you take the pacifier out. Let me take that, take this moment in and let me speak to the, the mommies and the daddies who are on this live right now. I, 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 I know you don't like seeing your kids go through things, but they're adults. Yes, you got some, uh, 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 some mamas and daddies still taking, behind, taking care of grown behind children. They still living at home with you. Still borrowing money that they never, ever pay back. And you know that they ain't going to pay them back. You rather give it to them and cuss them out on their way out the door. But you still give it to them. Come on, somebody. You taking care of their kids. Who I'm speaking to on tonight? You got a daughter. Oh, I don't know who I'm preaching to on tonight, but if this is you, I'm, I'm, I don't know who I'm prophesying about right now, but God is telling me someone is on here. If this is you on tonight, uh, uh, you got a daughter. She rather club. She rather hang out. She rather not pay any me, uh, any bills, but she, she got money somehow. Watch this. Not to take care of her own child, but she got money to, 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 uh, uh, to club, or she got money to put on a $200 lace wig. She getting food stamps or, or child support or, or, or unemployment. Watch this. And you, you raising her child. Sitting back saying, you know what? That's my grandbaby. So I'm going to do it. God said you raising, you, you raising a deadbeat mama. You helping her be the worst mama she could be. And watch this people of God. If that's you, just say, you talking about me. I want you to just put some hand emojis up. I know what I prophetically heard. You taking care of that baby while your daughter running the streets. You not receiving a dime of assistance, but you taking care of that child because it's your grandchild, man. You raising a deadbeat mom. Are you helping or are you hindering people of God? It's time you take the pacifier out. You doing it. You don't even have the strength to do it. You feel like you've already raised your children. 
And now you got to be a mom all over again. I, I thank you for the honesty, Nettie Scott. Come on, come on. I thank you for the honesty, Jengada Griffin. Come on, come on. I know what I prophetically heard. Come on, somebody. Are you helping or are you hindering? Come on, somebody. You're hindering her, sis. You're hindering her, sis. I get it. You the grandmother, but are you helping or are you hindering? Or maybe, maybe you got a son. You constantly got to send them commissary in jail or you constantly got to put money on the phone or you got, you constantly got to uh, uh, help with lawyers or you don't put your house and your car for collateral. Come on. Who I'm talking to on tonight, constantly bailing them out over and over. You are creating a repetitive convict. They don't care about going to jail. In the streets head first. Why? Because every time I go to jail, mama going to be there. Are you helping or are you hindering? Every time I go to jail, daddy going to be there. Are you helping or are you hindering? It's time you take the pacifier out. God said, get out the way. Somebody ought to put that in capital letters. Get out the way. God said, get out the way. He can't do what he needs to do through them because you're in the way. You got to let go and let God. You're making yourself sick, worrying about them anyways. Sick to your stomach, tired of it. Are you helping or are you hindering? It's time you take the pacifier out. Remember I said the definition of help was making it easier for someone to do something by providing your services, whatever that may be. Watch this. And the definition of hinder is creating difficulties for someone resulting a delay. So are you helping or are you hindering them people of God? That's the question. He can't even become a man. It's like you still changing his diapers. He able to go to jail. He able to buy liquor and cigarettes and everything else. But you, you still changing his diapers. You got to take that pacifier up out his mouth. Somebody ought to comment below. Hug is getting too expensive. Baby, hug is getting too expensive. It's, it's nothing like the price it was when I had my children. Baby. Buying them peppers for my grandbaby. Huggies are too expensive to be buying for a grown man. You better catch that in the spirit. You ought to come in capital letters. Huggies are too expensive. I know you want to help, but your helping is hurting you and hindering them. Let me back that thing up because it might have went over your head. Beep, beep, beep. I know that you want to help, but you're helping is hurting you and hindering them. Could I just get somebody to type that down below? It's hurting you and hindering them. Because in reality, you're tired. You're tired. Tired of doing it all by yourself. You're tired of not getting the same amount of love and respect in return. You're tired of not knowing when your help going to come through. You're tired. Who I'm speaking to on tonight, you you tired of it anyway. Come on, somebody tired of, come on, come on, tired of you got, um, you having to have their back over and over again. Every time they fall tired, somebody out of, out of comment tired in capital letters. Come on. You getting stressed out from carrying someone else's burdens when you got 99 problems of your own. Why I got to carry your burden and I got my own issues, man. Why I got to carry your burdens and I got my own problems. Why I got to carry your burdens. Carrying the burdens of somebody else and you got 99 problems of your own being used and abused when you know you deserve better. God said, just move out the way. Move out the way. Are you helping or are you hindering? It's time you take the pacifier out. I thank you for all the seeds being sown to my cash app, PayPal, Zell and Chime. The information is to the bottom. Is that friend a friend or are they manipulators? Yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I'm talking about. Is that friend a friend or are they manipulators? I'm asking you. You the one that call them your friend. Some of you need people in your circle so bad 
that you won't even identify Judas as Judas. Oh, it's about to get deep. I don't know who this is for right now. Some of you need a friend so bad. You got to have a friend. You got to have a bestie. You got to have somebody in your circle that you won't even identify Judas for being Judas. You've been, 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 been betrayed time and time again by them. God has shown you they face, but you won't believe it. You ought to comment below. God has shown me they face, but I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. Why? Because you love them. Come on, somebody. That heart you have still had you wanting to help them. Even though they kissed you with a Judas kiss. Judas kissed Jesus. And that's when the betrayal started. Are you helping or are you hindering yourself? It's so often, watch this, we can hinder our own self. Are you helping or are you hindering yourself? You want to be there for him so bad that you keep hindering your own self in the process. Who I'm speaking to on tonight? Worrying about are they loyal or are they talking about me behind my back? Have you ever been there? You ought to comment below. I've been lied on and I've been talked about. I've been lied on and I've been talked about. You ought to put that thing in capital letters, baby. I've been lied on and I've been talked about worrying. Come on, somebody. Are, are worrying about, are, 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 are they loyal to you? Or are they talking behind your back? Are, 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 are you helping them or are you hindering yourself? Worrying about, are we going to be friends this month and then not friends next month? There's no consistency in the friendship. You ought to comment below. There's no consistency. Come on. Comment below. There's no consistency. Are you helping yourself or hindering them because you need to call somebody best? Are they really your friends? God said some friendships are better left buried. Some friendships are better left buried. Buried. Somebody ought to comment below. I'm going to leave you six feet deep. I'm going to leave you six feet deep because where I am right now, I'm hindering myself by running you down, trying to see what I did wrong. Baby, I'm hindering myself by speaking highly of you when you're talking negative about me. I don't know who I'm speaking to on tonight. Baby, I'm hindering myself by making myself available. But for some reason, you're never available when I need you most. Are you helping them or are you hindering your yourself it's time to take the pacifiers out god said you need to take a moment watch this to help you it's something about when you help you h-e-l-p you've been helping everybody else god said it's something about when you help you when you when you help you you can heal within the ages for healing within when you help you you can heal within when you help you, the E is for, watch this, you can endure through all the attacks the devil has put you through. When you decide, I'm going to help me instead, you can endure through all the pain. Come on, somebody. The L is for love you more. When you say, I'm done helping that person, let me help me. You can begin to love you more. When you when you begin to help, come on, somebody. The P and help stands for you can be a passionate about knowing your worth. When you begin to help you instead, you become passionate about knowing your worth. Stop beating yourself up for things people have done to you. We beat ourselves up when we did nothing wrong. Are you helping or are you hindering? It's time you take the pacifier out. God said it's not you. It's not you. I just uploaded your next Facebook status. I'm going to help me be the best I can be this time around. Make sure you watch out. Make sure you tag me in that thing. I'm going to help me be the best me I can be this time. I put my all into helping you over. And over. I'm going to help me be the best me this time around. Oh, I don't know who this message is for. But I'm going to help me be the best me. And the counseling one-on-one -on -one sessions I do with my followers. Um, if, if you guys can do me a favor and just put down to the bottom uh, text 754-246-0580. If you're inter interested in my counseling fees, um, it's text 
text. If, if one of my followers can type that text, 754-246-0580. If you are interested in counseling fees, counseling fees, I'm not talking about prayer. If you are interested in counseling fees, text, text, 754-246-0580. Listen, man, God is amazing. I wanted to just stop on your timeline. I got to go back to making Valentine's Day baskets. I'm going to post some pictures a little later today, um, um, t tomorrow, um, sometime. But listen, I got to get back. That's why I'm, ooh, baby, listen. When I tell you this little $30 lace wig, ooh, I done cut all my nails down. Baby, this time of year be getting me right together. Are you helping or are you hindering? Are you helping or are you hindering? That's the question. Are you helping or are you hindering? It's time to take the pacifier out of their mouth. You're not helping them. You're hindering them because you always there. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Tune in tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Again, you can follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFadden. I place all of my videos there because some people don't have YouTube. Pray for me as I cover you in prayer. I love you. God bless you. Are you helping or are you hindering? It's time to take the pacifier out. Be blessed.